Speaking of which, did you write that? Ooh. <laughs> a pointer uh, at the beginning, element, sorted list, get the value at the pointer. Does it equal this element, which I don't think it's declared anywhere? And does it not equal to that element? If it doesn't, then um, make sure that the length, that the index is still in bounds and well, increment the index before you check that. And if it's still in bounds, then you continue to the next iteration of the loop. And this is not the most readable code because there's nothing inside the loop. So it's just the condition. And if it ever terminates, we will return. And if the index is in bounds, we'll return the index. And if it's not, then we return negative one as the default. So obviously this isn't readable code, but there's something else wrong with it. Uh, given, and I've seen this episode before. Oh my God. And sorted list size is greater than plus plus index? <laughs> I'm gonna boot for search in a sorted list. Well, look guys, it was my first day and I was nervous and I was hurrying, so. Really? That's why you decided to write the slowest subroutine in history? <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, this is what happens in coding interviews. If you ever make a mistake, this is what's gonna happen. Anyone could have made that mistake. Yeah, it's true. In fact, I could ask for a show of hands, but instead of doing that, uh, I'll just, uh, could you have made that mistake? 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 The joke is that he's doing a brute forcer to the room. Yeah, I know. Then why did you do it? Oh my God, I hate this guy so much. And the worst thing is, when you're a kid, there's always a guy like this, and you think when you grow up, they're gonna go away. But no, it's like, when you go to like visit your family, and they're like, oh, so you graduated? Where are you working now? And you're like, oh, well, actually, I don't have a job right now. And they're like, well, what do you mean? I thought you graduated, right? And they're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> you have made that mistake. Could you have made that mistake? And it looks to me like this is probably Java because when you look here, Java is one of the only languages where you need a method to actually get a value from an array. You know, who needs brackets, right? Just so you guys know, this is actually a leak code problem. I think it's leak code 704. And if we go to the neat code 150 and you go to the binary search section, you can see it's actually the first question in the list. And it looks like leak code is down. And so just to turn up the difficulty, let's actually do this in Java. So uh, we initialize our pointers at the endpoints, right is that. I'm pretty sure the length of an array you can get like this in Java. And by the way, they weren't using an actual array in that problem. They were, I think, uh, using an array list, but still you should be able to, you don't, you shouldn't need a method for that. You don't need a method in most languages for that. So the way I do this, I already know my template. I have it in mind. I've done this so many times that I always put the return in the else. So if we find the target, we return. If we don't, we'll do it out here. And so now I just need the conditions. If the target is greater than the middle value, then we search on the right side uh, is gonna be mid plus one. Otherwise we do the opposite and the condition is also gonna be the opposite. So let's run that. And we got it. Never run linear search on a sorted array because you can do binary search. This is elite code easy, fellas.